Hello dear followers, how are you? I am today to solve uh, a problem from engineering mechanics. Let you have a stay with me. Let me first read the problem. It says a carpenter holds a 12 pound 2 inch by 4 inch board as shown. If he exerts vertical forces on the board, determine the forces at A and B. So as you can see from the picture, the man is holding the board we are already informed that the board has two inch by four inch cross-sectional size that is to mean that the board is uniform throughout its length and its length is uh, as you can see the total length is two plus six that is eight feet so he's holding the board at a and b now what we are required is that uh, we are required to calculate or determine the amount of force that the man is applying at point B and at point A so that to have uh, such, uh, uh, such uh, a, a board hold in, in such a, a way or in such a position. Okay, the first thing uh, what we have to determine is that uh, we are informed that the board has 12 pound weight and the other thing as I tried to explain is that the board is uniform having the uniform thickness and the uniform width that is uniform cross section throughout its length that is to mean that its weight is concentrated uh, can be represented by a concentrated weight at its uh, center of gravity that is it is a geometric centroid its, it's geometric centroid is coinciding with with it is center of gravity so the weight of the board is going to be applied at mid uh length of the board that is the total length of the board is as you see here it is two plus six that is to mean eight so half of eight is four and the weight is downwards the weight of any object is uh, towards the gravity or towards uh, that is downwards so at the mid uh Length of the board, I have to uh, draw a downward load on that is the weight of the board, and its amount is 12 pounds as it is given. 12 pounds like this. Okay, so this is the weight. And another thing I have to note is that. Uh, when the man is or the carpenter is holding the board in such a manner he is expected to apply an upward force at B and a downward force at A otherwise he cannot uh, hold the board in such a, a fashion so it is a must to have an upward force at B not a downward force please and it is a must to have a downward force at A, not an upward force. But fortunately, we are informed that both the forces that the carpenter is applying at A and B are vertical. So because because it is, we are informed if he exerts vertical forces on the board. The question says like that. So the forces at A and B are vertical. We know that, but the direction is not specified. But from the nature of resistance the way he can hold the board is that if he is exerting a vertical load at b force at b and a, a vertical upward force at b and a vertical downward force at a so this is another very important information regarding to the direction of uh, the force uh, applied by the carpenter on the board so this is the appropriate direction of the force exerted by the carpenter on the board okay the next uh, uh, step for the analysis is that well it is a 2d problem equilibrium problem so for 2d equilibrium problem we have three equ equilibrium equations that are summation of force in the x0 summation of force in the y0 and summation of moment at any point zero so we may apply any of the three independently or in combination so as to have the problem solved okay uh, the first thing I think appropriate is that to apply summation of moment to be zero. Let us apply summation of moment at anywhere, but in order to make it simplified, let us first uh, start summation of force uh, to be zero at point B. 
so if we apply equilibrium summation of force at a uh, moment at b0 so we are left with only force at a and the weight of the board which can make moment about point b so in such a way the only unknown will be the force at a and we can safely determine it then after that if you apply summation of force in the y to be zero so we can easily determine the rest force that is the force at b so let us start from summation of moment at b to be zero okay summation of moment at b zero so this is the equilibrium equation now uh, the weight 12 pound makes a moment at about point B by this arm length and previously I said that the weight is applied at the, uh, the mid length of the board so the total length of the board is 6 feet plus 2 feet that is 8 feet so half of it is 4 uh, inch I mean 4 feet so this is 4 feet from this end to the uh, point where the weight of the board is applied is 4 feet so the rest will be 4 and I am um, at the same time informed that the distance from A to B is 2 feet it is given already here it is given so uh, the distance from the uh, point where the moment is going to be calculated to the forces which can make a moment about the specified point b is or are already determined so this this, this distance will be from the cons uh, weight to the weight 12 pound to the point b will be uh, total 6 from the right end of the board to b is 6 6 feet minus 4 feet that is 2 feet so this is 2 so the 12 pound weight makes a clockwise moment about point B by uh, 2 feet times 12 pound. So let me write it first 12 times 2. And the force at A that is downward uh, makes a counterclockwise moment about point B. A times 2 feet. Uh, will be the moment but in the another direction so I have to deduct it minus a that is force at a times 2 feet so this should be summed up to be 0 so we can easily determine a to be 12 pound so a is 12 pound and it is downward the positive sign tell me, tells me that my assumption is correct so from this uh, I am verifying that the consider uh, the consideration that the force at A is downward this is correct okay the second thing the unknown uh, second unknown is the force that the carpenter should apply at point B that's a vertical force we I, I can determine it from submission of force along the Y because uh, the force at A is known, the weight is known, the only unknown will be at the force at B, so I can easily determine from that uh, equilibrium equation. So summation of force about Y equals zero. So summation of force uh, about Y equal to zero. From this, what uh, we uh, can make is that uh, force at A is downward, the weight is downward, but force at B is upward. So let me start from force at B. Force at B upward and force at A downward. So I have to say minus, minus 12. Force at A is 12 and the weight is downward. So I have to say again, the weight is also 12. minus 12 so it sums up to be 0 so from this the weight at B is definitely uh, 24 12 plus 12 so the weight at B will be 24 pound 
how this is the how we can determine the uh, forces uh, so for today what i have is this one thank you for watching